Hello friends. So next uh, problem is projection of solids. A yeah, hexagonal pyramid. So the projection of a yeah, hexagonal pyramid we are going to see. So what is this hexagonal pyramid? First of all, we can go for the question. So I told already in the concept video. So some questions we need to ask. What are the questions we need to ask first? The dimensions. The shape has been given. It's hexagonal. Hexagon means we have six sides we have six sides and since this is a pyramid the pyramid will be in this way the pyramid will be looking in this way here <coughs> this is a hexagon hexagonal this is a hexagon hexagonal pyramid so here it has six triangular surfaces like this okay next the edge of base dimension is given 30 mm and height 70 mm rest on one of its be rest on one of its base edges with what it is resting it is resting with one of its base edge so here it has six base edges with any one of the edge it is resting look at here here one edge means opposite also another one edge is there because it is a hexagon for a pentagon it is not like that here it is the edge means opposite a corner will be there for a pentagon here this is a hexagon so here on edge, opposite also on edge. Look at here, here on edge, opposite on edge. Like this, it will be having. Now, it is resting. Where it is resting? It is resting on HP, horizontal plane. So look at here, if this is like this, it is resting in this way. It is resting, this is the one of the base edge. It is resting either this side or this side. It will be rest. It can be tilted any one side, either this side or this side. Okay, and next. With its axis parallel to VP. So this is general. Axis will be always parallel to VP. Next one, draw the projection of the pyramid. Draw the projection of the pyramid when its base makes an angle of 45 degree to HP. When its base makes an angle of where the base is? Here, this is the base. This base will be making 45 degree. So here we need to tilt in this way or this way. Which one is convenient? We can tilt it. This side has to be. 45 degree. The base has to be 45 degree. We can draw a rough diagram here. First of all, we know to draw the XY line. So whenever if you are drawing, practicing with a rough diagram means it will be more easy for you to proceed the problem. So uh, without any struck. So here I told either this side or this side we need to make the uh, line. One of the base here. So I can mark the remaining point by using my engineering template. So I can fix it like this. Here since this is a pyramid, I can mark the apex also. I can project everything here. This is axis height. I can do it like this. I can. I will be giving the name. Now this base edge has to be tilted. I can measure it and now I can make it like this. So this is my solid. Now I will be projecting all the vertical lines in this way. So this way I will be projecting. So now I can find identify those coinciding points and here I will be joining gently all the outer edges here outer edges here while seeing from the top can, can we able to see the bottom face no so this has to be drawn as a dotted line and this will be seen clearly so this is your pyramid this is your pyramid so now we can go for the main diagram First, we can draw the XY line. XY, VP, HP. So now, I will draw a 90 degree line. Here, by using the engineering template, I can fix it. I can fix this point. So here I can fix the 30 degree, 30 mm length of line here. This is the 30 mm length of line I have fixed. Since this is a hexagon, the hexagon will be here.
while marking in this engineering template the hole has to be exactly instead of 30 if you are marking 35 means the whole thing will be get wrong so be clear on it now i can draw the diagram So now I will be drawing the projection lines, first I can draw the axis height, a long line, a short line, short line, a long line, short line, a long line, short line, long line, short line, a long line, like this I can draw the height for the whole height and next for here also I can draw the projection lines so I can give the name now here also I can darken it A B C D E F this is A dash, B dash, C dash. Again, this is D dash within bracket, then E dash within bracket, then F dash within bracket, and this is O dash, and here this is O. Now I am going to tilt the diagram in this way. I am going to tilt, the, this is the uh, pyramid, I will be tilting the diagram in this way. So I will be fixing a point here. I will be fixing a point here, here I am going to make a 45 degree inclined line. So by tilting in this side is our convenient. Now I will be drawing a thin inclined line in this way. So by using the compass I can measure the length like this I can measure the length here, I can make the mark like this, I can make the mark now from here, I can draw the perpendicular lines so the axis height is 70 mm, I can make it from here So this is your tilted diagram, the same diagram just been tilted, the same diagram is been tilted now, the dimensions are same. Okay, now I can give the names A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, again D1 dash within bracket, E1 dash within bracket, then F1 dash within bracket. Now I can, this is O1 dash. With now I can draw the horizontal and vertical projections. Look at here how I am making it. I will draw the vertical lines like this. Gently you can draw all the vertical lines from all the points. So from here it will fall on here. Now by here also I will draw the horizontal line. Next from here. Next from here. Again. Okay, so these are the lines. Okay, now where the O is, this is O, O1. And A is, this is A1. And this is B1, C1, D1, E1. And this is F1. Now I can complete all the outer edges I can easily complete all the outer edges like this
like this way I can complete it. Now this also the continuous line. You can able to see the O A E F triangle also. Now this will be as the hidden edges. From the top you cannot able to see the bottom face. So that I can make it like this. Okay, now I am going to make the dimensions. The dimensions are, so this is one thing, this is 30, 30 mm and here it is 70. And here this angle is 45 degree. Here it is given as the base makes 45 degree with xy or horizontal xp. It is given. So this is your problem. Like this, there we need to proceed. Thank you.